Hello fellow beings of Middle Earth and welcome back to the Angmar campaign. This is the 12th episode and today we are taking on a real elite army from the Orcs of Gundabad. They got the Orc Avengers with real Dwarven armor and they're ready to take us head on. But we are just going to give them some javelins. We definitely are going to do that even though their archers seems to be... Yeah, they're probably going to fire at us so we might want to actually Go and take them with our marauders. And we have sat our troops up on a hill. They actually have two units of Orc Avengers. But uh, the javelins that these Vorg skirmishers can yield is going to be very deadly to these guys. They rely almost only on their armor. And we saw how deadly they were in the Dwarves of Erebor campaign. And now when I look at this unit, I just really want to play Gundabad. So I'm going to set up a vault. And of course, Gundabad almost won last time, but I'm definitely willing to play Gundabad if you guys want. But do vote for the faction you definitely want to see. But just look at the javelins, they're completely tearing this unit apart. It's quite nice. Yeah, they're just getting smashed. But today we have the North Guard and we have the Snow Trolls. Definitely going to be nice to see them in action. No, I think these guys could just hit the Orc Avengers. And actually, I just brought these guys to just stand here. Let's just put them in guard mode. Because using or micromanaging 8 ca cavalry units is just way too much for me. That's really difficult. And that's why I suggest you just... If you have that much cav, no, do not use them all. Because you're going to take way too many losses. Oh, wow. Right, let's give them hell, boys. This is beautiful. Now we might want... Yeah, we can just skirmish them for a little bit longer. And we'll just keep going, actually. Now, the ballista should just hit in the middle here now. Looks like it could definitely get a lot of kills. Yeah, these guys can just go behind here now. And we'll only have these two units in action. Which I think is wise. It's no point in charging the Orc Avengers, they got so much armor. Alright, let's see here. Let's use all of our Javis, of course. And let's see how the Iron... I mean, the Rudar Warriors perform against the Orc Avengers. Oh, let's get them out. Just look at this charge. If they actually get it in, it's going to be devastating. No, 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 no. That is devastating. And these guys also got caught by the Orc Avengers. That's real bad. But look at the Rudar Warriors. They're going to rack up kills now. Let's see. That's perfect. Just look at them go. Like half the unit just evaporates. It's incredible. It's very incredible. Now where is our North Guard? Let's just charge them into the Black Shield Warband. And see how they perform. Now, uh, charge into the um, Orc Raiders is going to be perfect. We really want the Orc Avengers to be met with the Barrow Whites. They're a perfect unit. Now, I think these guys, yeah, they're going to get shredded by the Orc Avengers. That's a real bad, that's a really bad matchup. Now, let's send in the Snow Trolls as well. I guess the Black Shield Warriors over here. I don't think they are armor piercing. Yeah, so let's send in the Trolls. Let's see the Snow Trolls charge in. That wasn't a proper charge, sadly. Now, you guys could probably charge them in the back, that will always work. Only Snow Arc Raiders. Let's see how these guys. Yeah, they get slaughtered by the Mount Graham Raiders, just proving how deadly they are. And you guys could do the same, to be honest. The Arc Avengers is definitely a nice unit if we had it in our own hands. I think it can just slaughter units like butter. Northguard performing pretty well. They are a very elite unit, but they're not they're not up with the real real elites. They're not like dwarven elites like we saw in the Dwarves of Erebor campaign. That was just wonderful seeing how they did. Oh, we got company boys. 
A nice charge. Definitely. Let's get these guys out of here. Yeah, the Orc Avengers is almost down at this point. But they still have another unit, of course. Which is somewhere. Now let's just cheat. Let's just charge the Black Shield Warband. And so Arc Raiders. I guess they got, yeah, they got a pretty nice charge. Now the Snow Trolls, they're definitely making butter out of these guys. The North Guard aren't performing way too well. Oh, they actually routed them now. Very good. But they did take quite heavy casualties. And they're supposed to be... Oh yeah, okay, they actually don't rely so much on their armor as I thought. That's probably why they didn't perform as well. Now let's give these guys a charge though. Wonderful. And you guys, give these guys hell. Snow Trolls, proving themselves to be very good so far. Barrel Lights, oh, against these guys. And let's send these guys into the Storm Spirit. Let's just completely surround them at this point. I think we should just send in all the cav as well. Let's get them over here. And over here the Black Shield Archers are not trapped with Snow Trolls and Iron Crown Warriors. So they're going to down, go down swiftly. Let's just give them hell. Harald, you will go in as well. Yeah, we can just charge in everything we got at this point. And they're probably going to master out if I'm correct. Yeah, it definitely looks like it, it happens. There we go. Probably took a couple of casualties. 18%. It was a really strong Gundabad army, after all. Two units of Orc Avengers. But that unit is just so cool. Like, they have just pillaged the Dwarven armor and they're really good. Have Dwarven axes and all. It's cool. Very, very cool. Right, let's just try to capture them all. There the general goes. There were, there were actually two generals. A reinforcement army as well. And the trolls did rack up kills, or they at least got some experience. Alright, let's see. 292 versus 1600. And these are elites, so that was very good. Mount Grand Marauders. Let's see how the snow trolls did. 119, very, very well. Where the North Guard, 86 for 24. Yeah, we should have brought them up against a unit which had a little bit more armor. That was a poor decision on my part. But they still perform pretty well. The Eagles are saving Thorin's company from the Wargs and Orcs. Let's see now what the world brings us. I haven't been able to look at the battle map just yet, so I haven't been able to be prepared. But yeah, we were headed for Dane's Falls. And we're just going to assault it and bring down Gundabad in this second door. Wow, Thranduil's Falls have been taken. Let's get this one. Thranduil's Falls taken. Airborne Besieged. Moria under siege. Wow. Yes, Things are really going bad. All right, let's bring down these guys. We shall oh yeah, we can actually just assault them right away. Prevail. All right, we're going to play this battle. Uh, we did just see this siege in the Dwarves of Erebor campaign, but I guess that doesn't really matter. But I will probably skip parts of it, and I will see you after a while. We're about to break the gate. Let's see how it goes. And there it goes down. The gate of Dane's Vault is down, and we're going to rush in and bring Stampede. All right, our general goes first. He can soak up some arrow damage. He will replenish, and we're going to send in all of our units, basically. Send in some archers and such. Let's get them in right after. I'm going to wait a little bit uh, with sending in all my units because. It can often be a lot, just they can be very clumped up and get targeted by archers in a large fashion. 
you guys as well go in at this point. Alright, I'm going to put Harold over here. And these guys are on their way. Yeah, they're already starting to fire. Alright, let's get the Black Shield Archers. And at this point we can start sending in uh, more fire units. Let's send them in different ways or paths. You're actually just going to stand right here. Just the archers which is getting targeted which is fine. We have a lot of armor on them. And let's get the trolls in as well. Let's send them over to this side. We'll probably send in these guys eventually as well. Let's just get them up here now. They're going to slaughter the uh, Orc Defenders. Let's just get them in. And the North Guard will send up here as well. You can hit them and you can hit them. It's going to be perfect. The Rudar Warriors is going to go over here, and so will the Snow Trolls. And what about you guys? Where are you? Yeah, you're going to follow right after. And we're just going to surround them. And let's look at the charge of the North Guard. Wow, that was powerful. Beautiful. Alright, you gotta... Yeah, we don't want to engage just yet. Iron Crown Wars hit them, and you just keep running. I guess the trolls could hit the um, Snork Scouts, and the archers will move up over here. Let's see if we can get a proper charge this time. Last time we didn't get a proper charge. No, not a proper charge this time either, that sucks. Alright, get up here, and you as well. Go to send some mighty javelins into the side of these Orc Hunters. Is very much in our favor. I suppose these guys could just do it and we could send these guys all the way around and just like stand right here. Oh, the mountain orc hunters is a perfect target for these Rudar warriors actually. Now these guys were supposed to get in here. I don't think we're actually going to use our works this battle. Uh, let's just put these guys like right here and we can just soak up ammo damage and not lose a lot. Let's get them right, like right here, and they're just going to hit the Mountain Orc Hunters, which is an armor piercing unit. You might want to run. And why not get in these guys as well? We can definitely do some charges with them. Alright, let's see how this will go. Oh, they're actually getting point blank shot by these guys though, that's really bad actually. Oh, and they're getting targeted by those as well. Well, it's going to be nice seeing this though. 203. Let's see how many they will lose. This unit is going to be evaporated, but it's, it's worth it just to see how many they can kill of these guys. Oh, they were all the way back here. Yeah, the witches were surrounded. Let's bring them over there. And you guys just hit in the middle here. Oh, Harald is actually completely surrounded. He might die. I didn't even notice that. The Snow Trolls are racking up kills though. Yeah, let's just get them all in, to be honest. And just hit the Orc Defenders at this point. One axe, and it will not hit. Let's see if we can get some deadly javelins over here. There we go. Half the enemy force remains. Beautiful in the backs. Just bring them over there. And actually let us assist the uh, snow trolls. Northgard have lost a lot. I must say they're not the survival survivable unit as I thought they would be. Angmar's elites are not up with Dwarven and Elven elites, of course, that's to be expected, but I don't think they're up with the Gondorian elites either, except for perhaps 
the wargs, which is just very efficient units. And here these guys come. Let's just give them hell, boys. There we go. Beautiful. Snow trolls still haven't lost a single, single troll. That's wonderful. We don't want them to go up against uh, mountain or um, the mountain or hunters. Let's give some javis to the mountain or hunters. I don't think we're going to use these guys actually, or they could just hit over here. To be honest. Our men, Our men no longer command the castle. Put them right here, and the trolls can just charge along here at this point. Alright, let's see if we can get these javis done. Yeah, that should just slaughter them utterly. Just look at this. It's like a rain. Wow. And those guys, yeah, the witches are getting some experience here. Those really, this went down really fast at this point. Now we can just charge them. Snow trolls as well, even though Mount Lord Counters are repeating, they are completely surrounded. And there he goes. In a minute or so. Alright, let's see our stats here. Turn 11, Snow trolls, very, very good. Barrow Whites, turn 11 as well, wow, a tie. And what about the North Guard? 158, that's very really good. But they lost very, very many, to be honest. They're not the most interesting unit so far. I, I, I like the Snow Trolls much more. And I think just the war units are the most overpowered units for Angmar. I think they are more useful than the human units. Like the Iron Crown uh, units is very beautiful, but they're not very powerful. But on the other hand, you can just recruit a lot of them, of course. I'll conquer of relations worsened, relations worsened. All right. Yeah, we can recruit uh, some elites here in not too long. Let's. Yeah, we don't need this to be honest. Bogs Hall. We'll give some orc fighters. Let's just go straight for the army barracks and get some. Or actually, we want to go for human camps. Oh, that's going to take a while. Let's just go for the army barracks. We have so much culture in uh, anyways. Now at this point, they only have like... Rackeberg left, I believe. Let's just check that out. They have, they have Framsburg as well, alright. And Gundabad also holds Onasana. They might actually be crushing the dwarves, I'm not sure. Alright, let's just tie this unit together. Yeah, and these guys. Let's recruit more units and just keep pushing. Let's get the Mount Graham stables. And we do have a catapult uh, coming up. Let's just recruit a lot of these guys now. Same here. We have more of those, which we can just send over here. And let's see. Ah, we got some of these guys as well. Wonderful. Yeah, and we're just basically recruiting everywhere. We do have the capacity to just get the units we want at this point. Let's get these guys over here as well. Now let's see how we're doing over here. This is the important part. They weren't defeated. They still hold some region somewhere. And I'm not certain where it is. That's so weird. It's probably some weird region down here or something. Alright, this is going to strengthen us a little bit. Oh, oh, that was a mistake. I was trying to hit him. Alright, let's, uh, yeah, the Witch King is on his way here. 
you will probably be able to deal with us. Yes. Yes. And in Mithlund, we we're now today. just going for the Dark Temple. Let's just get the culture up even more. And we can soon recruit units here, which is very fortunate. But I just can't believe what the dwarves have left. That's so weird. By your command, by your How are they alive at this point? I'm even tempted to just check the map and see what they got. I'm going to do that. They hold Carl Willishar, alright. So we gotta go down here, definitely. And that army is going to cause havoc. They're probably going to take a couple of settlements and there's not much we can do about it either. Let's get these guys. Let's just stack up units here. 28. We can get wargs out here if we recruit those. Or if we build that building. But arm bags is probably more useful. Let's just hope they don't attack us though. We have to see if they're going to be aggressive or not. But where is Agendar? He's here. I'm actually tempted to just <laughs> abandon Kelonyak yes. and go straight for Karvilshar, but it's just so far away on the other hand. Alright, we'll have to go for it, I think. At least Endwath is keeping these guys occup occupied for the meantime. And let's send these guys to Kelonyak. These guys as well. Yeah, we can just recruit a lot. We do have the capacity to get the units we need. These guys as well. Head to Kiloniak. Let's get some Barawats here. For the sake of fun. More units here. Mission Delving we are building. Alright. And Luminous as well, we got, oh yeah, we finally got some elites here. Let's send them towards, yeah, let's just go, let them go down here. We're going to hit the Buster Doom now. And, yeah, that's where Kidan is. And the Witch King is going to go here. And then Lindon should be struggling. Ugh, these guys can attack us, that's the, that's the problem. Very unfortunate situation with that army. Alright, in the meantime, up here, we are just going to... You. The Dwarves of Erebor holds this region, but they hold Rakyaburg. Alright. We should go for Framsburg first, to be honest. Yes, my lord. Let's just send yes. this uh, diplomat as a spy Important. in the meantime. But we can't just leave... Uh, my lord. What if we bring out as these guys? Wish. Let's just bring this army up here and try to just swap them out. And you guys are going to go here. And I will abandon you because you're going to get killed. But Framsburg is their capital. They might hold a Nasanar, Rackeberg and Framsburg. Now let's see. We still only need three regions to actually succeed in this campaign. So I don't think we're going to quit this campaign today, I, I'm thinking we are going to finish it next time. That's my plan, so far at least. I definitely want to defeat Lindon first and the Dwarves of Edelun. Yeah, definitely we do have to defeat these guys anyways. But let's see if we can recruit any units up here. Not yet, we haven't been set up properly here yet. Alright, let's just end the turn, uh, and these guys will just wait for these guys before we head out, I think. Even though Rackenberg could probably be taking a turn or so. I'm sorry about my nose. Now, I'm wondering what is happening, because it said that... Airborough was under siege, so I think that 
the Gundabad is actually besieging Erebor. No wonder why they will be able to. They're, they're just going to be able to get a lot of Orc Avengers. But of course, they lost Dane's Holes now, so that's no longer the case. Goblins of Mars just chilling. I will have to think about if I want to bring down the Orcs of the Misty Mountains as well. I haven't decided if I'm going to keep this campaign going or not. I'll have to think a little bit more about it before I decide. Alright. Now we gotta bring down this army. Oh, they got Cinder Arches. Wow. I'm just going to wait a little bit. I don't want to fight that battle just yet. And the Witch King. The do hold this region. There we go. It won't be to their liking. Let's hope that that army is sufficient enough. What is this? Clan Haralturi is just walking around. I will only oh, these guys. Battle. Yeah, but they're just like... Move, come and get me. Yeah, Move. that's fine. Alright, Agendar. An order. Yes. As you command. I've tried whipping them. It's a long spent. way. To Corvinshire. Yeah, it's like here. We gotta go all the way around there. My Lord. These guys hold stall one. Alright, so we put these guys inside. Alright, let's just empty the city. Perhaps leave one unit of works. It's just useful to have. These guys can go inside. I'm also going to leave the ballista. It's really slowing us down. Even though we probably need yes, it for this battle. Can the ballista actually reach? Oh yeah, now I use Your it. Dang. Yes, and Goodbye. why are they going to accept the battle? They have like no chance. Alright, I'll have to fight I'll two battles off camera. You. Let's just see, see if we can recruit some more units out of here. Let's just get them for upkeep. Your will, my lord. By your command, we'll make camp here, my lord. Yeah, these guys will be doomed in not too long. It looks like they failed to assault Erebor though. We, still ha we haven't received any victory message. And in one turn we'll have the Goddess of Kandum. Wonderful. Let's get some of those and let's get more works. Actually the Javelin works. My favorite. These guys go over here. And you guys could also head to Dame's Halls. Alright, so firstly I'm going to fight this battle. Let's just bring these guys a little bit closer. I'm firstly going to fight this battle and I will also fight this battle of camera. And I will be right back after, so... Alright, we are actually at Buster Doom. Because we did defeat the Elven army, took like 300 losses. losses. And at this point, uh, we could actually just push straight for Basarum. And you don't need a ram. And here we have Kirdan himself, let's see. Here he is, Kirdan of old. Now, he got the Mithril Nobles. And these guys, 24 attack, 24, and 12 charge bonus. They cost like just 800 just to have in upkeep. They have 38 total defense, 20 armor. 12 defense skill like these guys are they're just completely out of this world sats like that's so amazing sats uh we're just going to try to avoid drango getting killed off let's just um try to make these guys pursue him over here so that we can just use all our troops to just capture the town center you want to move all right but this is actually the map of Buster Doom. I'm just going to take a look at it. It used to be the battle map of Sagkala. I believe Sagkala has gotten a new battle map. Or it might be the same. I haven't been at Sagkala for a while. But yeah, it's... Yeah, you can use it defensively. If you just hold these chokes. Oh jeez, the Mithril Nobles are incoming right here. And they are definitely a very deadly unit. Let's try to just get these guys all, all the way around. 
And we're now just going to just massacre these units with all we got. But these mythical nobles, if you can get them the hands on them, they're definitely going to be such a deadly unit. They are so powerful. And I think they are subpar with the Smiths of Regan, definitely. But you're going to see how you can defeat them with Hillman. I really wish that the Relent Relentless stat is going to be given to the Mythical Nobles in the future. If you haven't noticed what the Relentless stat is, that is the stat which will give some units the ability to not get stun locked, which I think is very useful for a lot of units because they very easily get stun locked. And if you don't know what stun lock is, it's that they get completely surrounded and that their animation just get kind of stuck so you can't really do anything because you're just getting pushed back all the time. Now these guys are going to eat the Hillman up for breakfast like no big deal. Let's see what the witches can do to those guys, it's going to be interesting to see. And if you got one of these units, you could probably hold out hundreds of units just with this unit. Even though they are going to become tired. But they are such mon monsters. And they look beautiful as well. You just can s just look at the shields. It's just city. beautiful. Yeah, these guys will not be able to do much. But they are actually, you can see that they're dropping very fast now as they are surrounded. And that is what will happen to these units. Because you see they just get stuck all the time. He, this guy just gets hit all the time because there's so many units surrounding him. So he can't do anything. And that's how you stun like units. And it works very well against the elves usually. Because they don't have a lot of units. And that is why playing factions like modern such is not very hard. Because you can simply just stun lock most armies. Alright, but I just wanted to show you this and we're going to see Kill Down Dead here. But it's just going to be a choky battle. So I will see you back on the campaign map. I will still have to defeat the other army as well. Uh, up in the north. But it will not take long. There they go. Gone forever. Not even not even visiting the halls of Mandos. Or I don't know what the fate of the Orcs is. Now let's see Mount Gram Raiders. These trolls are really good. I think the Snow Trolls are one of the best trolls. Definitely. After trying, they're definitely better than the Mountain Trolls so far in my experience. Uh, I don't think they're at the level of the Ologhai though. It's kind of sad that we never got to see the Ologhai in the Isengard campaign. I think a long waiting waiting time ruins a lot of the end game. It just takes way too long. On the other hand, it keeps you playing for those units, so it's like a two-sided kind of deal. Now let's just siege these guys. And they will be going down in next turn. These guys, they might actually attack us. Yes, my lord. Well, that just means we're going to be able to capture them. My lord. My lord. Yeah, and we do have reinforcements on our way. So let's just end the turn. Hopefully we'll see Linden's last stand in a little bit. I hope we can destroy Edit Luin before they become a problem as well. Now, what are the dwarves of Erebor wanting? Oh, no, thank you. Just because we kick you in the bad's ass doesn't mean we're not going to kick your ass. Even though you're asking for trade rights, you should go to Sauron himself and ask him about it. Give him some Mithril and he might, he might save you. Because if you didn't know, actually Sauron loved Mithril and he hoarded it up a lot. He had a lot of it in Barador. <laughs> yeah, they did attack as we thought. Well, this is going to be an uneventful battle again. On the other hand, I guess we could see some more action of these units. 
But we're really just facing a garbage army. But we haven't we have only seen one battle with these guys, so I think we can do one more battle before Yeah. Let's do one more battle. I'll see you on the battlefield. Alright, we are at it. So let's try to show off some nice micromanagement. We'll try. Now we we're just going to set up our arts on this hill. We're going to charge in with the Mount Grand Marauders. And we're also going to let the the javelins do some close-up action. We're going to try to do our best micromanaging all this cav. The Snorlax scouts, let's just charge right into them. Or perhaps the Black Shield Archers, an even better archer unit. And all of these archers stand like this. And you guys come around here. And that is just a deadly charge. They do have a lot of armor, so they will not take as much damage as a lot of other units but it's it will still be a very nice deal now these guys we want to put into the running away mode so that they just keep throwing javelins and that we don't really have to navigate them too much and let's go for another charge let's just let them we're going to do the same with these guys then it's much easier to actually use your units properly when you're facing off a large army and when you're having a lot of cavalry yourself because we're going to get in a lot of hits now these guys are going to fire when they can and in the meantime we can just micromanage this cav now let's take a look at the Mount Grand Marauders in charge wow it's so powerful it's very very powerful uh, these guys are getting targeted no surprise there Let's uh, charge in the snow trolls. And these guys could actually go for the black shield archers or actually hit these guys. Let's see how they stand up to a charge. Oh wow, how did these guys go so far away? Alright, it's time to use our these guys as what we usually do with them. Just charge them in. And on the other hand, we're going to do some charges here as well. Let's just surround these guys before the other army comes. Alright, these guys we need to bring out again. Let's hit the Snow Orc Raiders. These Orc Fighters are doomed. Literally, just look at that. Going to be completely eaten up by those Orcs. North Guard charging in. With their huge mazes, there we go. Now we want to stop these guys from firing. We're just going to get our trolls killed, which we definitely don't want. And the trolls have already max experience. Wonderful. Now you can charge these guys, and you can charge the same ones. And you are on your way to about to charge, but you want to bring down those actually. The enemy are badly bloody. And there they go. They lost half their men. Wonderful. Now all of these guys can charge in over here, and you guys want to make you move out. So in such battles, I recommend you to use slower speeds like 0.5, it works much better. It's very hard to navigate with all these troops, but I'm not going to do it for the let's play. But just so you know, that's going to be the most optimal. We don't want these guys to be charging the spears, that's just a dumb idea. Now let's get these guys in, but charging the spears in the back is going to be a good idea. Now let's just charge in those, and yeah, we definitely don't want to charge them into the spears just yet, because they're still chasing us and they will get some nice hits on us. Now the other army is on their way, so we might want these guys to actually move up properly over here. Now we're going to charge these spears, they're just going to get completely surrounded and they will probably route. Cavalry charges is very effective in that matter, that they usually just route when that happens. Where is the wargs So I knew they had some wargs, I just can't see them. But you see, when they stuck too long in melee, they will start to lose them very, or wargs very quickly. And uh, let's properly set these guys up at this point. We want at least a solid line before the other army comes. But the thing with Angmar, why I'm playing a little bit and why I'm not being so cautious is just because I know they can replenish so good. Angmar have a very good replenishing rate. 
But if you, for example, play as the elves or dwarves, you don't have the same replenishment, and you definitely want to be way more careful with your units. And it's of course a let's play, so I am. Um, and we have seen thousands of these battles before, so I will just speed up battles just to make them a lit little bit more easy to watch for you guys. The mountain guard, we don't want to charge them, they are affecting or they're skilled against mounts. That was a weird charge. Where's the snow trolls? Yeah, they're they're having some fun. These guys go over here. Now they're actually having some works. I'm fine with them charging our general. I think he will survive. Now the north guard should ch probably charge up here. Let's see how they perform. Alright, let's get them out. Not charge the mountain guard, just we're just going to completely surround them. And we're going to let the trolls deal with the mountain guard. Now these guys, yeah, they should be slaughtered by the North Guard, which is effective against armor. Alright, let's bring them up towards the, uh, these guys. And there's no point in just letting these guys be point blank shots. Let's get some Javis over here, shall we? Oh, we completely forgot about these guys. At least they will get a lot of experience and we can retrain them and get some proper a proper unit with a lot of experience. Now just doing a cavalry charge while they are occupied is not that bad, of course. Now let's see how this will work out. Oh, they're not actually going to get it in. Oh, this is unfortunate. They're attacking the wrong unit, but just look at that. These Rudar Warriors are very, very good, but in melee they're not the same, to be honest. It's time to press the attack. Alright, some of these units are starting to rot at this point. Now I hit the Snowhawk Spears in the back. We have probably forgotten about some cavalry unit. Yeah, we did. And that's what happens. I think max 4 or 5, probably 4 cavalry units is the optimal. After that it just becomes way too many to handle. And you have seen how efficiently we have used the works in this let's play so far. If you just if you just bring like three or four, it's going to be much easier. Definitely. These Mount Gram Raiders though, they're really really powerful. But we have just left them in melee way too often. But these guys seem to have a very, very good survivability these um, work skirmishers and I think to be honest that their stats should be nerfed for next version because they're just tearing a lot of units completely apart now the trolls still haven't lost anyone these guys are definitely and there he goes either to a witch which are a barrel white I mean or a snow troll Let's just capture them all so that nobody, so that we can just get Rackeberg at once. Alright, that's fine. And I think it's alright at this point. Let's just exit the battle. 241 lost, a lot this killed. Snow Trolls again, and Mount Grand Marauders. Kill. Yeah, they are definitely very good. The reason that Angmar is so strong late game is because they can push out more units than other factions, as I mentioned. But if you have the proper recruitment centers, you can probably bring like two of these armies very often and just completely annihilate any resistance. And Mordor is kind of like that in the end game as well. That's why they perform so well in the end game. And there we go, Rackyberg's ours, let's just suck it. We now even border the Woodland Realm. Alright, 45,000. Yeah, we're making some solid money now. My lord. If yeah, the dwarves do hold this. The king. Alright. We're just going to leave these guys though. No point in 
Staying here. Oh, glory. Oh, they have another army right here. We'll probably have to defeat those. But finally, we got the Guardians of Kandu. And yeah, let's just bring these guys over here. And we're just going to bring all of these units in the proper place. Some more North Guard. Yeah, this army probably needs some reinforcements at this point. Yeah, the army is quite weak. Alright, I'm just going to... Let's see. Yeah, I'm just going to head, head out at this point. These guys will be no pain. We have all these works. I'm just going to head straight for the capital and just make it so that our regions support each other and i will send a lot of guys down here and these like the dark blades don't really become available for a long time and they're not even that powerful in comparison to other units so I don't really understand that that's kind of stupid in my opinion <laughs> all right your will my lord an order Let's put Matthew these guys. Yeah, we're headed for the last Dwarven settlement. And the Witch King should be... Yeah, there's Harlon and it's completely empty. And that's the last settlement for Lindon, I believe. So that will be the end of Lindon as we know it. Still have the ha Haven Master here. And they actually have a general here. Oh, I'm actually tempted. I'm just going to leave Hunwan. I don't want to lose him. They're probably going to take this settlement back, but that's of no concern. Yeah, we'll move this army out and take it back in the next turn. In the meantime, let's move out these guys. And they're completely fine at the moment. So let's just head out over here. And just deal with any resistance that we can find. And yeah, we're just building stuff everywhere. I don't see the Dwarves of Edel Luin at this point. I believe they're just over here somewhere. That's my guess, at least. And there's not really much point in these settlements, except for the money making, because we're not going to have any war here soon. This guy is actually making them very mad for some for some weird reason. Can't really see why he would make them mad. He got put some public order. Well, that's weird. But just head out. Don't make them mad. Alright. Let's just get this one. Or the Hillman Barracks. I want this to be a proper recruitment center. Let's get all the units we can. Alright. How many regions? We only need one more region to yes, have won the campaign, actually. So the next episode is probably going to be the last one. And that's simply because we have already seen all the units that we can see. And I think it's just going to be... It's just way too easy at this point. And it has always been an easy campaign, to be completely honest. We just steamrolled every faction. But... I, I really love this campaign. I like their units, their armor piercing specialists. I, I think that's a cool feature. And they are very varied from most factions you see. So it's definitely a very nice addition to Dovah the Conqueror to see uh, Angmar like this. But I'll have to think about it. I might want to completely destroy Gundabad, but I think we would be able to do that in the next episode anyways. And when Lindon is gone, there's no hope for elves to anymore leave the shores of Middle-earth. And I think that will be kind of our glorious thee, victory. But yeah, I want to, of course, bring down the Dwarves of Erdun, or we'll have to do it. And we're going to see what will happen next episode. But I think we're going to be successful and end the campaign. And therefore, I'm just going to set up a faction vault already now. Uh, so that we can get a lot of votes just to see 
how many people wants different factions. So I'm just going to list a lot of factions and I'm going to let you vote. Um, I would love to play Gundabad uh, and the Varys of Kander. There's a lot of factions I would love to play, but I guess I'm, I've already decided to play the Dwarves of Erebor, so I guess it's your turn to decide now. And I'm very open for any faction, to be honest. So that's going to be exciting. So just vote for who you want to see. All right, but that's going to be this uh, for the for this episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, and support me via Patreon if you'd like. And I'll see you guys for the next and final episode, probably.